Let us now build Bollinger Writing Strategy. Here are the entry and exit conditions. For this strategy, we will use the following instruments. Before we build this strategy, we need to understand what are Bollinger Bands. A Bollinger Band, as per Investopedia, is a technical analysis tool defined by a set of lines plotted, two standard deviations, positively and negatively, away from a simple moving average of the securities price, but can be adjusted to user preferences. Bollinger Bands were developed and copyrighted by famous technical trader John Bollinger. The indicator states that more than 90% of price action occurs between these two bands. Any breakout above or below the bands is a major event. Note. The breakout is not a trading signal. The mistake most people make is believing that that price hitting or exceeding one of the bands is a signal to buy or sell. Breakouts provide no clue as to the direction and extent of future price movements. Hence, we need to consider more movements in the price series to get a higher probability of the direction once the breakout happens. Okay, so we make an assumption that once the price series makes a breakout in a particular direction, it will continue to stay in that direction before it reverts to mean. Hence, we will take our positions as per the conditions mentioned before. All right, let us start with the procedure. 1. Click Create from the Strategies drop down. 2. Name your strategy Bollinger Writing. 3. Tag it directional, or momentum. 4. Fill the description with your best understanding of the strategy as well as the parameters used. Before we create our entry conditions, we need to select our list of instruments, which the conditions will scan through, to do this. Click the three dots next to set number 1 and select Add. Create your list of instruments for this strategy. If you are unaware, what list is and how it works, please see the tutorial on it, created separately. Now it's time to create our entry conditions. Click Add an Entry Block. In the drop down, select Position and click OK. Select Close in the Series drop down. Type minus 2 as the position and click OK. Inside the newly created position keyword, click Symbol. Select 15 minutes under candle type. Select 100 as max history candles. And click OK. Now click instrument name. Choose the exchange from the first drop down. Scroll to the lists section. And select your created list for this strategy. And click OK. Next, click the keyword drop down again and select the greater than sign and click OK. Finally, click the keyword drop down again, select the position keyword again. This time, select open in the series drop down, type minus 2 in the position and click OK. Great! You have successfully created the first condition. Now we need to add more conditions to this. To create the second condition, TradeTron gives you an inbuilt function to calculate the Bollinger Bands. All you need to do is select the appropriate keyword and feed it the parameters. You can find the full list of keywords on TradeTron website. Just follow the link in this video and understand which keyword does what. Let us create our second condition. To do this, you need to first click the plus condition on the top right to create another condition block. Then, you need to ensure to connect both the blocks with a logical AND, by selecting it in the top left. Once this is done, in the second block, click the drop down and select the position keyword. Select close from the drop down, type minus 2 in the position and click OK.
From this newly created position keyword, click symbol. Select 15 minutes under candle type. Select 100 as max history candles and click OK. Click the instrument name. Choose the exchange from the first drop down. Scroll to the lists section and select your created list then OK. Now, select the greater than sign from the drop down. Select the drop down again. Create another position keyword. In this new position keyword, this time, Select Upper Bollinger in the series. Type minus 1 in the position and click OK. Now that the keyword is created, click Upper Bollinger, select Close from Series drop down, type 2 in Standard Deviations, type 20 in Period and click OK. Click Symbol, select 15 minutes under Candle Type, select 100 as Max History Candles and click OK. Click the instrument name, choose the exchange from the first drop down, scroll to the lists section and select your created list then OK. Great! You have successfully created your second condition. Follow the same procedure to make your remaining three conditions.
Finally, click Submit to save your entry condition. Now that you have created your entry condition, you need to take your positions once this condition is satisfied. 1. Click plus add next to positions. 2. Click buy on top. 3. Since you had created your list at the start of this, the system has automatically selected your list under exchange, type, and underlying. 4. Put 100 under quantity. Finally, click add to add this position. Finally, you need to tell the system when to exit. You can do this in the exit block. Click plus add next to exit to open the condition builder for exit. Similar to how we build conditions for entry, we will build conditions for exit. For the first exit condition, you need to check if the previous close has crossed below the upper Bollinger band. For this, you can use the cross keyword. This keyword takes two inputs and checks when the first input crosses the second input, from bottom to top. So, when close crosses upper Bollinger band from top to bottom, the upper Bollinger band crosses close from bottom to top. Hence, input 1 is upper Bollinger band and input 2 is close. Let us create this. Select position. Inside position keyword, select cross in series drop down, and minus 1 as position. Now click cross. 2. Select upper Bollinger in series 1. 3. Select close in series 2. Finally, click OK to create this keyword. Now inside this keyword, click upper Bollinger and select close in series, then, type 2 in standard deviations and finally type 20 in period. Then click symbol inside upper Bollinger and select 15 minutes in candle type. 100 in max history candles and click OK. Progressively, click the instrument name, select the exchange in the first drop down, select your list of instruments in the second and click OK. Follow the same for close. All that is left now is to create the stop loss and take profit conditions. Fantastic! All that is left to do is scroll down and click Create, and select Deploy. Select Paper Trading for Execution. You have successfully created your Bollinger Writing Strategy. Now, Go to your deployed page to see the if the strategy is taking positions.